Well, hi, it's Cindy. Welcome back. How are you all doing? Well, I just washed my hair. My hair is almost dry. I should have done this when it was wet, but my dogs have been barking and they really want to go out for a walk today. But before I blow, oh, I blow dried a little bit, but I forgot to tell you this. Okay, so this is called Cheese Silk Infusion. And I have been trying so many oil products, you know, um, different lines. And we forget about the things that we used to use. And I used to use this all the time. So anyways, this is cheese silk infusion and it's made with silk wheat so soy proteins. It's non-oily, it's a hair treatment for your hair and it helps control breakage and it strengthens your hair and it helps control the frizz. So I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a little bit through, oh, about a dime size of that because I have fine hair. If you have thicker, curly, frizzy hair, then you're, of course you're gonna apply more. Now, it's nice to know you want to go from the mid hair shaft all the way to the ends. Now, I've already applied some on, so it's going to be really silky. Um, the other thing I want to let you know that um, you can use it dry too if you notice a little bit of frizziness and you kind of want to take out that frizz and from the curls or through, like some people take their little hair, you can apply it through that. Blow dry your hair. It's a thermal protectant from your blow dryers and curling irons and flat irons. A lot of times, a lot of hairdressers, they would use it wet, then they would use it dry, and then they would take that flat iron and go right through. You see a little steam? It's not the hair, it's the product. The flat irons, it's a barrier before the hair, and it's in the middle for your flat irons. So it seals in the shine, helps control the frizz, but it's protecting hair from that flat iron, which is a good thing, and it smells good. The other thing that I've used it for, my daughter, when she was young, she got um, gum in her hair. I applied a little bit of silk infusion and then t -t 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 -t, and it took that gum right out. And it's also great for detangling. One time I forgot to use, um, I forgot to bring my makeup remover. And an educator told me from Chi, well, we use your silk infusion. Use a little bit on a little pad. <laughs> use it as an eye makeup remover. And guess what I did? I did exactly that didn't burn my eyes. So that's something I always remember. I use it for my cuticles sometimes. If, if I'm out of my cuticle cream, I've used a little bit with my moisturizer. If I feel like the moisturizer is not moisturizing enough, it's got a little benefits. And oh, and I also heard that if people have tattoos, now I don't have any tattoos, so I wouldn't know. The only thing I have is an eyeliner tattoo. Um, if it's starting to show some fade, the color, they've said that it, if you put some on your tattoo, it picks up the color again. So I've heard that. I've heard people put them on the underneath their feet, on their little, like their heels, if it's a little dry. Don't put too much, because you don't want to slip and slide while you walk. But um, yeah, those are other things that I've heard about that you can do. So anyways, I'm just gonna finish blow drying. Now right now, my hair is really silky, but it's weightless because I'm not applying too much. So, like I said, if you're really got more curly hair, more thicker hair, then you want to apply a little bit more when it's wet. And then when you're done with finishing with your hairstyle, then you can just apply it in the areas where it's a little frizzy. All right. So since I blow dried my hair, this is the finished look from using the Silk Infusion. So it's... I'm not gonna curl my hair too much today. I'm gonna kind of keep it relaxed a little bit, but as you can see, it's not too frizzy, it's silky, it's lightweight, and today's my day off, so I don't really wanna do too much. But I am gonna curl a little bit my hair. If we do something tonight, then I'll just go over it with a little curling iron. But I'm doing a hot tool. This is about a one and a half inch. I just wanna let you all know, if you can't remember what your hot tools, and you're trying to remember what size you have, in here, they usually have a little section. It'll say 1101, 1102. If you can see that, they used to show it would be white and you can see it and then you would look it up. Then you can find out if it's a three quarter, one inch, a one and a half, one and a quarter. They used to have a two inch. But if you know that little number and then when you're gonna go buy it at Sally's or Amazon or Alta, match the number to the box and it'll tell you exactly what um, 
what's the barrel is, what size it is, or you can check it up on Google or, you know, on the website. All right, so I thought I'd just let you guys know that. So I'm just gonna take the top and just kind of relax today. The dogs wanna go for a walk. I just got my hair colored, got a little trim, and I've noticed that since I've been using the Neoxin, I'm getting a little bit of hair. So I feel like it looks like a little hair coming out a lot. So I just kind of tease the back. Well, it, I had to get out. Let me just get my Sebastian. Uh, it is zero gravity, not much weight, very weightless hairspray. So if you want to use it wet, you still have, you want to comb it through, that's a good one. Or you can, um, you know, use it at the ritz that I just did and kind of tease it to give me a little volume because again, I got fine hair. And then sometimes I kind of like spray it a little bit. I'm out of my hot spray, so let's see. Let me just take it up, go all the way up, take it down. Just give me a little height, a little curl. Yeah, usually when you see my headshots and photos, I do my own hair and do my own makeup. Unless they're going to do it. If I got to pay for it, I do it myself. So if you ever see my headshots and photos, everything that's done, it's all myself. So just thought I'd give you a little heads up on that too. So anyways, I'm going to put a little bobby pin in here. Take it. We don't know what we're doing today. So we just may take the dogs for a walk, go to the grocery store. So I don't want to do too much. But I do want to be presentful. Let me get the hair out of my bangs right there. All right, oh, there it goes. Just a little tease again. A little spray to hold it. Just a tap and spray through the hair. Kind of protects my hair again. I'm continuously always protecting. Right now my layers are growing out, so it's I got layers and no layers, so I just want to get the length going. I've seen a difference using the oxen, conditioning, being more gentle on my hair, not so hard. I've been using Velcro rollers. I think these are like a medium size. I found them at Ulta. You can find them on Amazon. I'll try to put the link in the bottom, you know, in description if you want to find out where they're at. Little bobby pin across. Try to roll my bangs out so I don't have much layers. I did have my bottoms trimmed a little bit. I'm gonna take this. I don't really want to stiff on the bangs, but I do have my cheese silk confusion a little bit, but not on top. So that's why I kind of had to spray it down a little bit. Uh, let's see, another blue one. If again, if we go out tonight, I'll just curl but I'll have enough products in my hair so it'll protect my hair. And see, I got really fine hair, so I gotta be really gentle with it. And get a little bobby pin. Apply it in, let it set, let it cool down. I'm thinking of getting maybe some hot, um, hot rollers. I remember I had a friend, she had gorgeous hair. She still does have gorgeous hair. And back in the 80s, we used to curl our hair all the time. I did the curling iron, and she did the hot rollers. And um, my hair was short, so I just needed some of the ends. But she had her hair, always had her hair up in hot rollers. Anytime she would go to work, anytime she would go out, hot rollers went in. And I think a lot of people got away from that or are afraid of it. You know, use too much heat, use too much heat. And educators always would say, that's why we have thermal protectant. That's why we have products to protect our hair so we can still have the style that we want. I guess it's true, isn't it? So anyways, you just saw my silk infusion. And then I usually use flexible style hot off the press with my curling iron, or I use it, um, you know, before I use the Velcro rollers, I use my curling iron. I spray this curling iron and then let it go and then put my Velcro rollers, but I'm empty. So I had to use my weightless Sebastian gravity, zero gravity. <coughs> And I think I have it on if I can see. Let me get my glasses. I thought I should tell you what temperature I have. I have it at 280 between 330. Oh, and the other, it's ceramic. It's ceramic coated. It's not ceramic 
all the way through. There's still a middle in between, but it's ceramic coated. So that means it helps control some of the frizz and it's a little bit gentle on my hair. I do have the gold hot tool, but when I when my hair is a little bit more damaged, I just want to protect it a little bit more. So it is ceramic. So I just want to show you my back of my hair. I didn't really get to show you too much. So if you look, the back of my hair, I have waves in my hair, but if I did not use a silk infusion, it would be more frizzing than what it is. So that's what I'm saying. It's not gonna eliminate the frizz, but it will settle down a lot of the frizz. So you figure if you're 100% frizz and you can settle down at least 75% of it, then you got your benefit. You know, I mean, it, it's working. So I just wanna give you an idea. <laughs> So my husband said, well, we may be going out to dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm back again. He goes, it's his birthday tomorrow. And he said, well, we may be going out. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let's see what I can get out of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray my hair. I was just gonna go get dressed and put a little bit of makeup, a tiny amount. And he goes, well, we may go out. Okay, so I better do this really quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take I'm gonna section, like, just go like this. And then I'm just going to take one section at a time. So I'm gonna go like that, make sure I kind of spray, I don't have much left. All right, so I just usually, what I do, I just curl, you hear my birds, curl. So I go back and then back the other way. And try not to leave it in too long. But I feel like the silk infusion is controlling the frizz. It's helping thermal protecting my hair from the curling irons or if I use flat irons, if I use the blow dryer. And then the hot off the press seals in the curl. So I'm gonna be really quick because I gotta get these dogs for a walk. So as you can see, I just go all the way around. Sometimes I, Take the curling iron, kind of curl it through, and then go back and curl it. As you can see, maybe a little bit. And then I can always do a better job later. Sometimes I go like that, kind of like take, lay it down a little bit, and then go over. Sometimes I do a curl, back this way, back this way, and then use a Velcro roller. But I notice when it starts getting longer and longer, I won't be able to use much Velcro rollers as it goes. I don't know how long I want to do it. So, keep going. So I hope you're all having a good day. And then I'll get the other side. All right, I got one side done, as you can see, just a little, just a little, just to give a little bend at the ends. All right, I'm gonna do it like this, so I'm quicker, so I'll let it dry. And then now I'm going the opposite way, and I'm gonna go back the other way. And then while I do my little bit of my makeup, if I can, I probably just use a tinted moisturizer for the day. And I'm probably gonna count to 10. Let's see, it just gives me a little curl. I've been working a lot. Father's Day is coming up, so people are starting to come in at Macy's and start checking out the Father's Day gift sets. So remember your grandpas and your dads, uh, Father's Day is coming. They remember us on Mother's Day, right? <laughs> All the dads do. But yeah, my husband turns 65 tomorrow. So he wanted to go the red, he loves steaks. So we're thinking of going the red lobster because I got some gift certificates over the over Christmas time. And I thought well, that would be a good way to use some and have a nice little dinner. My daughter and her boyfriend will go. But and then I got a, um, I got some money doing a voiceover, so it'll pay for it this evening. But see how I'm just, hopefully you can just see. I'm just trying to be quick and easy. Just a little bit. 
And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let that dry, you know, let it like dry out a little bit, not too much heat. And then I'll be done. And this is still going, so I'll get the volume through here. All right, a little bit of makeup, a little get ready with me. So as my curls are setting and my hair, my top of my rollers are setting, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. It's gonna be very quick and easy. So right now I'm using Bare Minerals Concealer. Um, it's called the Original Formula, and it is Fair 1C, which means cool. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit here and here, a little across my nose, a little in the forehead, along the lines. Like I was saying before, I get a lot of women, um, while well, they're starting to come back in uh, for talking about makeup, they're starting to buy their, their makeup again. I'm just patting. They're starting to buy their makeup, their lipsticks again, asking questions. Right now, let's see. I work at Macy's. So Estee Lauder is doing their pre-sale. They're going to have their gift with purchase starts in June. But pre-sale means you get the products that you want. And the items, a bag, a lip gloss, a lipstick, night repair, or the the moisturizer, or you can get the pro vitamin C serum with the, I can't remember, the revitalizing moisturizer, and then um, the mascara, and it comes with a bag, like a little handbag. Okay, so I'm putting that all over because I'm a little red for some reason. So I'm going to put a little bit of that. When it gets a little um, windy, sometimes I get a little red. So I'm putting that all over because I'm using a tinted foundation. And then I'm gonna apply the rest on my eye. And I'm just patting, just patting along. Usually people go like right through here, right through here, and then through here, then across, and, and here, and here. For Have you seen the new concealer with the up of the lift going up? They're doing that right now too, but I'm just taking it, just blending it a little bit in. Okay, I'm gonna use Bare Minerals. Um, it's a tinted moisture hydrating gel cream, sun protection of 30. So the representative came in, oh, about a few months back, and she gave me Opal, which is 01, and she gave me Suede 04. Opal's too light, Suede's too dark, so I'm going to mix them, and that's what I've been doing. So if you're a kind of person, hold on, let me pick up my brush. If you're a kind of person who wants to play golf, um, you're gonna go play tennis, you're gonna go jog, you want a daytime look. These are excellent tinted foundations. They're excellent because it gives you moisture and it gives you a little bit of coverage at the same time. So I'm just taking a little bit of opal and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of suede and sometimes people use this as primers. Yeah, you can use this underneath your foundation as a primer, you can. Or a lot of times they use, a, use this under their foundation and have more coverage. So I'm just gonna take that, just like that, and mix it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I have noticed their concealers can run a little bit. That's the only thing I don't like, and I don't know why, but they do kind of run. People love them, but they have mentioned that they do run. So I'm just gonna mix this together, and I am just gonna apply it on. and Work down the middle and on out. So it's gonna give me very minimum coverage. It's gonna give me more of a natural look, but the importance of it is, is the sun protection. That's what it is, the SPF. So I still have a little bit of even coverage on my face as I'm outside. Same time protecting my skin from the sun and the weather and the wind and have a little bit of coverage and it's lightweight. Now it does feel like a little of a, not jelly, but light gel. And when I read it, it says, believe it or not, a gel cream. And I didn't even know that when I was talking to the representative, but I go, it feels like a gel. And she goes, well, read what the tube says. So I never really used uh, Bare Minerals until she gave me some. So she gave me the concealer and she gave me the gel cream. And I use this every day at work. 
and I've gotten compliments on my skin. So it must be the right, I'm mixing it to make it the right color. And, uh, and it's just giving me enough for coverage. So I've been selling some of this to customers because they are coming in for a lighter foundation. So this is Bare Minerals Com Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And it's on SPF 30. So I'll put that back. You know, I'm gonna leave them out because I'll put them on the you know, on my description. But it does run the concealer. I'm gonna kind of go on the side. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder. This, I just bought this. I was out of my Mary Kay translucent powder. I still use my Mary Kay skincare, but I needed some powder. And so I went by the store and I got Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent. I love translucent powders. And I think I mentioned that before on my videos. I just feel it just sets it a little bit, just takes away that little bit of a shine. I was oily once, so I still have that feeling. I, I just like a little bit of a matte, but not too much. But what I like about the translucent, the dewy look still comes through. So it's not an oil-free powder. It just sets the makeup. And translucent is for everybody. So it's it's a neutral, very, very, very translucent color. I always take it and just pour some on the other side. And then I just put it on my face and I just blend it in. I also feel that it's a base for your blush. I just feel like it's a little base for your blush and your blush stays on better. Now I'm using a makeup mirror because if I use it this way, I'm short and then you won't be able to see me. So let me just move this. Now, if you feel that you're dry, okay, then you may not want to use as much or you may just want to use it on your cheeks and a little bit on your forehead, but I like using it all over. I feel like within about 10, 15 minutes, my natural moisture is going to come right through, but I do like it. That's all I'm going to do. And then I always have, now this is a Mary Kay brush cleaner. You can use any brush cleaner. After I'm done, I'm just gonna clean my brushes right here and then put them right back and then let them air dry. I'm using, I'm almost out of my Mary Kay eyeshadow base. So the next time you see me, it'll be a different eyeshadow base. But I always use eyeshadow base. Now I doubled my concealer because before I was on the video doing my hair, I already had eye concealer. so I just applied it through here, but I already had some on the top of my eyelid. I always feel that I tell customers to use the concealer on their lids and they're like, well, what's the difference? I go, well, do one eye with your concealer and do the other eye without, and you'll see the difference, how much open this one eye is and how the other one wouldn't be as bright and, and open. So I'm, I'm from old school. I still do the concealers around the eyelid, including at the bottom. And I always, always, always pat, 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 pat. Very gentle. Your eye area is so thin. It's like tissue paper. I'm just going to go over with just a real neutral color. And this is Color Design Latte, and it's by Lancome. Very, very, very neutral. Very neutral. I'm going to take my little blending, little brush here. Okay, and I'm just going to pat. And then just go all over my eyelid. If you're a person that doesn't want to wear a lot of eye makeup, then do something like this. Just take a one eyeshadow. You got your eyeshadow base to make your eyeshadow last longer. You have the concealer to brighten up your eye area. And then just take your eyeshadow and just pat it on all over your eyelid. And that's it. Get the effect of the amount that you want and then stop if you don't like a lot of makeup. When you take your eyebrow pencil, and this is what I'm gonna do right now because I'm only gonna be out for the day. Here's my eyebrow pencil. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. 
And this is Benefit Good Proof Brow Pencil. I think it's good or got, you think I would know it by heart, but I don't. I should have my glasses here. Hold on. Much better now, I can see. I wear contacts, but I still have to wear glasses for close. Um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and it is number three. So it's from the Benefit Eyebrow. I got it at Macy's. It's got like an angle pencil. So if you look down, I like it because it matches my hair color. And then the other side has a little brush that I can go up and up and out. Now they carry different numbers for different hair colors. I do get my eyebrows done at the brow bar. I like the way they do the service. They put your hair back gently. They clean gently. They actually try to frame your eyebrows to your eyes and they want to give you what you want. I swear by them. I love them. They do a great job. They actually have to learn of uh, the Benefit Brow Bar look. So I'm very, I, I, I get my eyebrows done almost every month. If I forget, I may wait a month and two days, <laughs> but my brows are always done. And they also do the above your lip. Now, you don't have to do perfect eyebrows because I know they're beautiful. But I just like to fill them in. So I just take it up, first of all. And I go across like this. So like that. That's what they showed me. I used to go up. No, they said go up, across, and just fill in the little empty holes. And be just natural. And just do just like long strokes. And just, a, now some people don't do the top. And some people just do the bottom. If you're not really don't know about eyebrows, just fill them in. Just take it. Let's see if I can go close. And you're just gonna go across and just like all the little open area, you're just gonna fill it in to where you feel you're comfortable. And take this little brush and just brush up. If you get too much in techniques, you're not gonna like doing your eyebrows. A lot of times people say, well, where do I stop? If you take where your nose is at and go all the way up to diagonal, that's where you're gonna stop, where this ends. You're gonna start from where this starts here. That's all you have to do. Just a little bit of fill in, fill in and then go down a little bit. If you start doing the all these little techniques, you're gonna go, oh, forget it. You know, my daughter, she does beautiful eyebrows on her eyebrows. I don't do that. You know, I'm I'm just not that technical. I like things easy. And then you do the other side. My little bump is starting to go away. But I still, I think I need to go remove it. All right, let's see. Go back. As you can tell, I'm just gliding it. And I just, if you see this little area right here, let's see, I feel like it's like a little, I have a little spot there that doesn't grow much anymore, anymore from plucking, 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 plucking. I just kind of take it and just go across just to fill it in. That's it. And I just kind of comb it through. And as you can see, I'm not rushing. <laughs> I'm not rushing. I'm just taking my time. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of time, then just do as much as you can. But if you, you know, the more time you put on your eyebrows, the longer it's going to take, right? Okay, so that's it. I'm going to leave that here. Now, I do use a brow gel. I have always have, and I know it's here somewhere. No, that's not it. Why do I do my brow gel? I like it because I feel that it just sets the eyebrows a little bit better. But of course, I'm not finding it. Oh, there it is. This is a Mary Kay and this is a brunette. But they sell brow gels in the stores. And then you're just going to comb it through. Now, back in the day, people were just using brow gel. Because remember the Brooke Shields? The big eyebrows? Kind of came back, but a little bit different. And then... It said, I've had friends use their hair gels. I've had friends use the hairspray. 
I like using my brow job because it just gives more enhanced of hair color to it, to my eyebrows. So it takes away some of the grays that I have. Then what I do, I make it really easy. Again, easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy is fine for me. This is Lancome pencil in black. Now I normally have in my eye, I have permanent eye makeup. So technically I really don't have to do it, but I still put my, you know, my pencil on. So I just get it really close to my lashes. And I, I don't know why, I always go from the outside in. Just like that. And I just like lay it there and I just glide it on. As you can tell, I don't get technical on my words either. <laughs> I don't. I just tell customers, go ahead and apply it on and then just kind of blend it. Now I'm just doing a real natural look. And that's it. You can take a little bit underneath, but I'm not going to in case I don't go out tonight so I'm not overly done because I do have liner. Now, if you do want to go underneath, you can take your pencil and just go along your waterline. If that doesn't scare you too much, you can do that. Or you can take an eyeshadow, something light or soft, Take a real thin brush. This is actually a little eyebrow brush, but I use it. And then I just take a little bit of a color. Now let's do this for you. I just like to do a little shimmer. Pop that back in and you just wanna go under. And that's all. It's going to be very easy today. Okay. Then I'm going to go with my eye curler. I'm just going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. My Mac Stack Mascara. You can apply one stroke. Two strokes. And you can go on and on and on. And that's what this is about. You can stack as much as you want without getting gumpy or without them sticking together your lashes. They'll keep separated. And there's a video of me doing this and you can keep going. Length volume fullness length volume fullness i mean they've actually had people do like up to 30 times just for an example and i just do the other side a lot of times i don't do the bottom because i have like lash long lashes and they always hit the bottom of my skin and i wear contacts and sometimes my eyes get little you know like they run a little bit they water so but if i if i do put a bit i'll just use a little bit but i'm just gonna that's it. Okay, now I am going to get a little bit of Milani Dulce Pink one. I'm gonna get my little, this is It Cosmetics. This is, you can use it as a blush brush and you can also use it as an eyeshadow. So it's got dual purpose. Remember your cheekbones are right here and you wanna apply up. That's it. That's all you can use if you want natural look. You got a little bit of color and just go right up along your cheekbone. And then if you want more, apply more. And I always use a little bronzer. So I just tap my little paper towel here 
of the excess amount of the blush, apply a little bit of, this is by Benefit. Let's see, this is Hula by Benefit. Just tap, just tap, don't use too much. And it just kind of, it's a bronzer, it just brings out a little bit, it evens out the color a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit over my cheekbones and I'm done. Sometimes I take my little brush and just apply as a little contour. Making sure this is not opening up. <laughs> just like that. When I used to, I think I have a video saying that I used to sell a product called Visage many years ago. And our hand was a brow gel, a contour, and a bronzer. And we used to approach women and say, we have something to show you. If they have already a lot of makeup on, they've already done, then we use a little bronzer to enhance their their bronze to their skin to match their suntan if they've been tanned or to give them a little bit of color. If they weren't wearing makeup, we'll put a little bronzer on and they'll have some more makeup now. Then the contour, we'll put a little bit of contour to bring out their cheekbones if they didn't have contour. A little hydrating mist, which is now, what is now, what, now what do you do? We got hydrating mist and now we've got makeup setting spray. Oh, we used to sell so many brow gels and so many contours and so many bronzers. That was the main three items and then it went from there. I still do it today. Okay, so that's about it with that. And let's see, let's see. I'm going to use MAC, oh, you know what, MAC Spice a lip liner. Just glide it along, just make it simple. I feel my stomach's growling. I think I'm hungry. If you hear a little growl, it's me. It's my tummy. And normally I wouldn't put on my lipstick, but I'm going to do it. This is Milani glasses. Got to use my glasses. Nude Cream 26. So it's Milani Nude Cream 26. Go along. Now, I usually use White Russian Buxom, but I lost it. And I have my lip gloss of Milani in my purse. <laughs> but I'm just going to go like that. So I'm, I'm basically done. So I feel like this is pretty good for the day. What do you think? All right, so now I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to go take off my rollers and give you the finished look. So I took my rollers out. I put some Kendra hairspray, 25. Like I said before, it goes from zero to 25. So the more you spray, it goes up a notch. So it goes from zero to 25. So you hit 25, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have a firm hold, right? And that's why a lot of people like it because as you're spraying, you can still style it. My dog's right here. She's telling me, mom, are we gonna go for a walk? <laughs> yes, we are. So I put my earrings on and I put my outfit on. I've got some heels on that I got from Walmart. I got a Target purse, so I'll show that in just a bit, and then I'll take my little ones for a walk, but zero to 25. So I'm gonna put down the descriptions of things that I used, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and let's see what else. And that's it. <laughs> um, we'll probably be going out tonight, but isn't this nice that you can go out for the day and still feel good? And I didn't do a whole lot. The video's long, but if you think about it, I didn't do that much in my hair. I did a little bit of Velcro on top to add some volume. I just curled my hair back to give a little curl, let it sit, did my face makeup. As you can tell, there was not, I don't have a lot of face makeup on right now. I just have, just to accentuate, not accentuate, just to give some, the, our cheeks and our eyes accentuates what we have. That's the word. It just brings out our natural beauty. And you can add a little and you can add more. Anyways, I will show you my whole outfit in just a bit and we will be done. Bye.